Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and today's video is the last in a seven part series to help you get organized for college. This video is all about how to plan well for classes and deal with large projects or papers. In this final video, we're finally gonna talk about how to plan for and organize each of your classes at the beginning of the semester. The nice thing about college classes is that the professors generally have done most of the planning before the class even starts. Once you get the syllabus, you will have a good idea of all of the reading, assignments, and workload that's required for each class. The first week of classes for me is a planning week. I spend at least a couple of hours for every class on that first week planning everything out for the semester. So what does that mean? I'm gonna map this out for you based on the organizational tools that you have already set up as a result of watching this series. Digital notes. For each class, I create a note with the professor's contact information, office hours, and any website links. I also write down important information like the grading scale and the weight for each assignment. I may even scan the syllabus and attach it to the note. I always make this a digital note since I wanna be able to access this information from anywhere I am. File organization. So depending on how I've decided to take notes, I set up either a paper file system or a digital file system for every class. So this means either a color-coded binder, tabs, and file folder for each class, or a new folder and tag in a digital system. Task management. So I love it when professors are super, super detailed in their syllabus. I look for that detailed table that tells me what readings and assignments are due each week, and I take the time to preload all of that into my task management system. I used to do this and I have a, a video that gives more specifics on this, but basically if the professor has laid out what is expected on a weekly basis, I plug all of those assignments into Todoist in advance with the due date being the Monday of the week it's due. So that way every Monday, all the assignments for the week for each class will pop up, which I can then assign out to different days of the week depending on what my study schedule looks like. So I prefer to have all of this loaded in at the beginning of the semester, since otherwise it takes time each week to refer back to the syllabus and plug it in for every class. Calendar. The last thing I do for each class is determine when big projects or papers are due. I immediately put those due dates on my calendar. Large projects are different from readings or small assignments since generally there will be multiple steps over a longer period of time to complete them. Which brings us to how I plan for big projects or papers. The two most important concepts required for planning out long-term projects are starting early and chunking it down into smaller tasks. So I know this is not always the way you like to work, but when you've only given yourself two days to research, outline, write, and edit a 15-page paper, I think it's safe to say that you aren't putting forth your best work. Not only that, but by putting it off until the very last minute, you are kind of still stressed about it the entire semester. So start early and get a little done at a time for less stress and a better work product. Again, let's talk about this based on the tools that you've already set up. Task management. So during that first planning week, you do not need to plan out all of the steps for every paper and project that are due for that semester. That would be overwhelming. However, you do need to determine when you will be doing the planning. So for me, it depends on how big the project is. If it's a 10 page paper, I might wanna plan four weeks in advance. If it's a 20 page paper, maybe eight weeks. Either way, I'm gonna look at the calendar, count backwards the right number of weeks, and put a task in my task management system for a 30 minute planning session. And for each big project that I have, I put in a separate planning task. Notes. When the day comes to plan, you're gonna start a brand new note and you're gonna write down all the steps that you need to take in order to complete this project or write this paper. You will also need to estimate how long each of these steps will take and then determine what date you want to accomplish each, st each step. You may have a list that looks like this for a 15 page paper. So you may be wondering, why would you not just put, why would you put these in a note and not just directly into your task management system? Because you may be able to reuse these steps for a future project. So I used to do this in Google Sheets and I had different templates set up for different kinds of projects. Research paper, video project, assessment paper, etc. I also had calculations that showed when each step needed to be completed based on a due date, but you don't have to worry about yours being that fancy. All I'm saying is that the more you plan, the easier it will be to plan in the future. Save this mental planning work so that you can use it again later. 
The next step is task management. So this is when you add all of these steps into your task management system along with estimates on how long each step is gonna take. Todoist allows you to add subtasks to a larger task. So that's how I would put these in, assigning dates to each, to each task. For each task that was an hour or more, I would also add it to my calendar. After all, you'll probably be able to squeeze in a 30 minute task with other things you're doing that day, but you need to make sure you have room on your calendar for something that will take an hour or two. It may seem duplicative, but it is helpful to ensure that you have allocated time, enough time to complete these tasks. Even just putting the planning task in your system is gonna make you feel more on top of things and less stressed. And taking small bites of the project is a great way to avoid procrastination. If you spend a couple of hours during that first week of classes for every single class getting organized and planning ahead, you are gonna be so much more on top of things for the entire semester to come. This will both decrease your overall stress level and enable you to be a better, higher quality student. Just two additional things. You should keep in mind that the best predictor of good grades in college has nothing to do with your GPA in high school or your SAT or ACT score. The biggest predictor is attending class. So plan to go to every single one of your classes starting on day one. The second thing, as soon as possible, you wanna figure out how to access resources at your college or university. Get to know the tutors and writing experts at the study center before you actually need them. Figure out who your advisor is and how to contact them. Once you start to feel like you're in trouble, it may be too late, so spend some time at the beginning of the semester seeking out these resources and getting comfortable using them. Okay, so depending on when you're watching this video, you may not have any classes to plan for yet. And if that's the case, there are no actions for you to take this week. This worksheet gives you um, a checklist that should help to set up each class on the first week of the semester. Print it out or save it in your notes app so that you can refer back to it once you are ready to start organizing your classwork. There's a link to this checklist or worksheet in the description below. So that's it. I hope you got some good organizing skills, tools, and ideas from this series. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.